Good evening. This is Pamela, and you're listening to Watchmen on the Pod. We are going to continue. We all actually, we are going to begin, I should say, um, a new Bible reading. We're going to be reading from the Book of Romans, and I will be reading from four different versions of the Bible. The first one will be the King James version. The second one will be the Apostolic Bible Polyglot. The third one will be the Scriptures 2009, and the fourth will be the World English Bible. So here we are. Greetings, Romans chapter 1, KJV. Paul, a servant of Jesus Christ, called to be an apostle, separated unto the gospel of God, which he had promised afore by his prophets in the Holy Scriptures, concerning his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord which was made of the seed of David according to the flesh. He declared to be the Son of God with power, and declared, not he, and declared to be the Son of God with power, according to the spirit of holiness, by the resurrection from the dead, by whom we have received grace and apostleship for obedience to the faith among all nations for his name. To all that be in Rome, beloved of God, called to be saints, grace to you and peace from God, our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ. First, I thank my God through Jesus Christ for you all, and that your faith is spoken of throughout the whole world. For God is my witness, whom I serve with my spirit in the gospel of his Son, that without ceasing I make mention of you always in my prayers making a request, if by any means now at length I might have a prosperous journey by the will of God to come unto you. For I long to see you, that I may impart unto you some spiritual gift to the end ye may be established. That is, that I may be comforted together with you by the mutual faith, both of you and me. Now I would not have you ignorant, brethren, that oftentimes I propose to come unto you, but was let hitherto, that I might have some fruit among you also, even as among other Gentiles. <clears throat> I am a debtor both to the Greeks and to the barbarians, both to the wise and to the unwise. So as much as is in so as much as in me is, I am ready to preach the gospel to you that are at Rome also. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth, to the Jew first, and also to the Greek. For therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith, as it is written, the just shall live by faith. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth in unrighteousness because that which may be known of God is manifest in them for God hath shooted unto them for the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen being understood by the things that are made even his eternal power and Godhead so that they are without excuse because that when they knew God they glorified him not as God neither were thankful but became vain in their imaginations, and their foolish heart was darkened. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools, and changed the glory of the uncorruptible God into an image made like to corruptible man, and to birds, and four-footed beasts, and creeping things. Wherefore God also gave them up to uncleanliness through the lust of their own hearts, to dishonor their own bodies between themselves, who changed the truth of God into a lie, and worshipped and served the creature more than the Creator, who is blessed for ever. Amen. For this God, for this cause, God gave them up unto vile affections, even for even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. Likewise, also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in their lust one toward another, men with men working that which is unseemly, and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error, which was meet. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient.
being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetedness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, malignity, whisperers, backbiters, haters of God, despiteful, proud, boasters, inventor of evil things, disobedient to parents, without understanding, covenant breakers, without natural affection, implacable, unmerciful, who knowing the judgment of God, that they which commit such things are worthy of death, not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. That was the King James Version. Now we'll go to the Apostolic Bible Polyglot. His greetings. Paul, a servant of Jesus Christ, a chosen apostle, being separated for the good news of God, which he pre-announced through his prophets in Holy Scriptures concerning his son, the one born of the seed of David, according to flesh, the one being confirmed son of God in power, according to the spirit of holiness by a resurrection of the dead, Jesus Christ, our Lord through whom we receive favor and a commission for the obedience of belief among all the nations for his name's sake, among whom are also you chosen of Jesus Christ, to all the ones being in Rome, beloved of God, chosen holy ones, favor to you and peace from God our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ. For indeed I give thanks to my God through Jesus Christ for all of you, that the belief of yours is announced in the entire world. For God is, let's see, is my witness in whom I serve in my spirit for the good news of his son. How continually I make mention of you at all times at my prayers, beseeching if by any means already at some time or other I shall prosper in the will of God to come to you. For I long to see you, that some spiritual favor I should share with you for your support. And this is to be comforted together among you through the belief that is in one another, both yours and mine. But I do not want you to be ignorant, brethren, for often I propose to come to you and was restrained as far as until now that I should have some fruit also among you, as also among the rest of the nations, both to the Greeks and the barbarians, both to the wise and unthinking, I am a debtor. So as to me, there is an eagerness also to announce good news to you, the ones in Rome. For now I am for not, for not am I ashamed of the good news of the Christ, for it is power of God for deliverance to everyone trusting, both to the Jew first and to the Greek. For righteousness of God is revealed by it, from belief unto belief, as has been written, but the just shall live of belief, which is faith, really. Okay, for anger of God is uncovered from heaven upon all impiety and unrighteousness of men, of the ones constraining truth in unrighteousness, because the thing made known of God is apparent among them, for God made it apparent to them. For his unseen attributes from the creation of the world to the action being comprehended are looked at both his everlasting power and the divinity for them to be inexcusable. Because having known God, they glorified him not as God or gave thanks, but acted in folly in their thoughts and their senseless heart was darkened. Maintaining to be wise, they became moronish and they bartered the glory of the incorruptible God for a representation of an image of corruptible man and birds, and four-footed creatures, and reptiles. Therefore also God delivered them up in the desires of their hearts unto uncleanliness, to dishonor their bodies among themselves, the ones who changed over the truth of God in the lie, and worshipped and served, and served to the created thing over the one having created it, who is blessed into the eons. Amen. On account of this, God delivered them up 
unto passions of dishonor, for both their females changed over their the physical use unto the one against nature. And, indeed, in like manner, the males, leaving the physical use of the female, burned away in their lust for one another, males with male, manufacturing indecency, and <clears throat> accepting in themselves the compensation which of their with the compensation which was a necessity of their delusion and as they tried not to hold god in full knowledge god delivered them up unto a debased mind to do the things not fitting being filled with all unrighteousness harlotry wickedness desire for wealth evil full of envy murder strife treachery depraved morals, whispers, speaking vulgarities, hating God, insulting, proud, ostentatious, divisors of evil, to parents, resisting persuasion, senseless, contract breakers, unfectionate, hostile, unmerciful, the ones who, recognizing the ordinance of God, that the ones acting such are worthy of death, not only do the same, but also are assenting with the ones acting as such. Wow. All right. And that was the Apostolic Bible Polyglot. The next is the Scriptures 2009. Paul, servant of Yahashua Messiah, a called emissary separated to the good news of Elohim, which he promised before through his prophets in the set of heart scriptures concerning his son who came of the seed of David, according to the flesh, who was designated son of Elohim with power, according to the set-apart spirit, by the resurrection from the dead, Yahashua, Messiah, the master of us, through whom we have received favor and office of the emissary for belief, obedience among all nations on behalf of his name, among whom you also are the called ones Yahash of Yahashua, Messiah, to all who are in Rome, beloved of Elohim, called set apart ones, favor to you and peace from Elohim, our Father and the Master, Yahashua Messiah. First, I thank my Elohim through Yahashua Messiah for you all, that your belief is spoken of in all the world. For Elohim is my witness, whom I serve with my spirit in the good news of his Son. How unceasingly I make mention of you, always asking my prayers, if at all possible, I shall be blessed by the desire of Elohim to come to you. For I long to see you, so as to impart some spiritual gift to you, for you to be established, and that is to be encouraged together among you, each by the other's belief, both yours and mine. I do not wish you to be unaware, brothers, that I often proposed to come to you, but was hindered until now, in order to have some fruit among you, as also among the other nations. For I am a debtor, both to Greeks and to foreigners, both to wise and to the foolish. That is why I am so eager to bring the good news also to you who are in Rome. For I am not ashamed of the good news of Messiah, for it is the power of Elohim for deliverance to everyone who believes, to the Jews first and also to the Greeks. For it is, for it, for in it the righteousness of Elohim is revealed from belief to belief, as it has been written, but the righteous shall live by belief. Find that in Habakkuk 2, 4, it says. For the wrath of Elohim is revealed from heaven against all wickedness and unrighteousness of men who suppress the truth in unrighteousness. Because that which is known of Elohim is manifest among you, for Elohim has manifested it to them. For since the creation of the world, his invisible qualities have been clearly seen, being understood from what has been made, both his everlasting power and mightiness for them to be without excuse. Because although they knew Elohim, they did not esteem him as Elohim, nor gave thanks, but became vain in their reasonings, and their undiscerning heart was darkened. Claiming to be wise, they became fools and changed the esteem of the incorruptible Elohim into the likeness of an image of corruptible man, and of birds, and of four-footed beasts, and of reptiles. Therefore Elohim gave them up to uncleanliness in the lust of their hearts, to disrespect their bodies among themselves, who changed the truth of Elohim into the falsehood and worshipped and served what was created rather than the Creator, 
who is blessed forever. Amen. Because of this, Elohim gave them over to degrading passions, for even their women exchanged natural relations for what is against nature. And likewise, the men also, having left natural relations with women, burned in their lust for one another, men with men, committing indecency and receiving back the reward which was due for their straying. And even as they did not think it worthless to possess the knowledge of Elohim, Elohim gave them over to a worthless mind to do what is improper. And even as they did, oh, okay. And even as they did not think it worthwhile, I knew I read that wrong, to possess the knowledge of Elohim, Elohim gave them over to a worthless mind to do what is improper. Having been filled with all unrighteousness, whoring, wickedness, greed, evil, Filled with envy, murder, fighting, deceit, evil habits, whisperers, slanderers, haters of Elohim, insolent, proud boasters, divisors of evil, disobedient to parents, without discernment, covenant breakers, unloving, unforgiving, ruthless, who though know who though they know the righteousness of Elohim, that those who practice such deserve death. Not only do the same but also approve of those who practice them. Wow. That was the scriptures, 2009. And then it is the World English Bible. Greetings, Romans chapter 1. Paul, a servant of Jesus Christ, called to be an apostle, set apart for the good news of God, which he promised before through his prophets in the Holy Scriptures concerning his son, who was born of the offspring of David, according to flesh, who was declared to be the son of God with power, according to the spirit of holiness, by the resurrection from the dead, Jesus Christ, our Lord through whom we received grace and apostleship for obedience of faith among all the nations, for his name's sake, among whom you are also called to belong to Jesus Christ, to all who are in Rome, beloved of God, called to be saints, grace to you, and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. First, I thank my God through Jesus Christ for all of you, that your faith is proclaimed throughout the whole world. For God is my witness, whom I serve in my spirit in the good news of his Son. How unceasingly I make mention of you always in my prayers. Requesting, if by any means now, at last, I may be prospered by the will of God to come to you. For I long to see you, that I may impart to you some spiritual gift to the end that you may be established. That is, that I with you may be encouraged in you, each of us having others' faith, both yours and mine. Now, I don't desire to have you unaware, brothers, that I often plan to come to you, as, and I was hindered so far, that I might have some fruit among you also, even as among the rest of the Gentiles. I am a debtor, both to Greeks and to foreigners, both to the wise and to the foolish. So as much as as, so as much as is in me, I am eager to preach the good to news to you who are in Rome. And I'm going to stop that right there just for a second, because if I'm not mistaken, I'm going to click on it. Romans 114. I don't believe that is what the KJV says. No, that's exactly what it says. Okay, I'm wrong. Let's continue. I'm so sorry. Okay. <clears throat> For I am not ashamed of the good news of Christ, because it is the power of God for salvation for everyone who believes, for the Jew first, and also for the Greek. That's the scripture I got mixed up, but thank you, Jesus. Okay. For in it is revealed God's righteousness from faith to faith, as it is written, but the righteous shall live by faith. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who suppress the truth in unrighteousness because that which is known of God is revealed in them for God revealed it to them. For the invisible things of him since the creation of the world are clearly seen being perceived through the things that are made even his everlasting power and divinity that they may be without excuse. Because knowing God, they didn't glorify him as God, neither gave thanks, but became vain in their reasoning, and their senseless heart 
was darkened. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools and traded the glory of the incorruptible God for the likeness of an image of corruptible man and of birds and four-footed animals and creeping things. Therefore God also gave them up in the lust of their hearts to uncleanliness, that their bodies should be dishonored among themselves who exchanged the truth of God for a lie, and worshipped and served the creature rather than the Creator, who is blessed forever. Amen. For this reason God gave them up to vile passions, for their women changed the natural function into that which is against nature. Likewise also the men, leaving the natural function of the woman, burned in their lust toward one another, men doing what is inappropriate with men, and receiving in themselves the due penalty of their error. Even as they refused to have God in their knowledge, God gave them up to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not fitting. Being filled with all unrighteousness, sexual immorality, wickedness, covetous, malice, full of envy, murder, strife, deceit, evil habits, secret slanderers, backbiters, haters to God, insolent, arrogant, boastful, inventor of evil things, disobedient to parents, without understanding, covenant breakers, without natural affection, unforgiving, unmerciful, who knowing the ordinance of God, that those who practice such things are worthy of death, not only do the same, but also approve of those who practice them. Wow. And that, brothers and sisters, was Roman chapter 1, four different readings. The KJV, the Apostolic Bible Polyglot, which I really like that one. I, well, I, I prefer KJV. But then after that was uh, the Scriptures 2009 and the World English Bible. Take this all to the Lord in prayer. Ask him to open your eyes, to give you the understanding, give you the wisdom in order to embed it upon your heart, to walk in it, to teach us not to be hearers only, but to be doers of the word, because that right there is what's so very important. We're not looking to be scholars. We're looking to be followers. Praise God. I love you all so very much. Keep your eyes on Jesus, your nose in the book, which is the word of God, and embed the word of God upon the tablets of your hearts so you will not sin against God or be deceived. Till next time, I love you all.